Hello, today I am going to be showing you how to do one of the basic things that you may need to do when you're using Affinity Designer for projector sewing, and that is being able to open PDF patterns that are password protected. Unfortunately, you aren't able to open those in Affinity Designer, so we do need to go ahead and unlock those PDF patterns. One way to do that is using Seja.com. You can use Seja for free for up to three tasks per hour. That means you can unlock three patterns per hour. If you need to do more than that, you can buy a week pass for $5 if you want, or just spread it out over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in for us. When you get to the Seja.com homepage, what I want you to do, we're not going to be editing, what I want you to do is scroll down to the security and all we want to do is unlock these patterns. So you're gonna go ahead and click on the unlock Sometimes if you're having trouble opening it, just open and try it again. Now you will find your pattern. I found my pattern, I'll select it. You can select multiple patterns if you'd like to do more than one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and select one and click open. We're gonna go ahead and say unlock. Now it is finished, your document is ready. What you're going to do is push download and it will download it. You can use this to save it. I will save it just to my drive. And here I will usually edit it to say something like unlocked. Choose where to save it in your drive. Now we'll go, back, go ahead and go back to Affinity Designer. From here, you can select Open, Open Document, choose Google Drive, and go to where you saved it. I found my file, I click on it, and it will open up. You can say Replace Missing Fonts, you can make choices. I usually just leave it how it is and press OK. Now you're ready to get started using that pattern in Affinity Designer. Thank you for joining me today on learning how to open a locked PDF pattern in Affinity Designer iPad.